everyone, what's going on? Firstly, thank you so much for tuning into this video, whether you're a brand new here or whether you're returning to the channel. If you are brand new for that matter though, please hit that red subscribe button down below so I can see you again next time. If you're unfamiliar of who I am by now, my name is Mike and the channel is Did You See That? We're talking about a musical adaptation, which is an adaptation remake of the original in 1961 and we're talking about West Side Story. So I've never actually seen the original movie so this review is purely going to be me a complete outsider to this entire movie musical Broadway adaptation that the original score was composed by Leonard Bernstein but in this adaption, it's been adapted on that original score by David Newman, who has done so many credits. We've also got a screenplay by Tony Kushner, who's worked on Spielberg on multiple projects. The cinematography of Juanes Kaminsky, if I pronounce that correctly. We've also learned that this movie, West Side Story, is inspired by William Shakespeare play Romeo and Juliet and the original book that was done for the Broadway production originally was done by Arthur Lawrence and he has passed away I believe in 2011 so rest in peace to Arthur Lawrence and my thoughts certainly with him and his family. So the cast of the West Side Story includes Ansel Elgort as Tony, Rachel Zegler as Maria, Ariana DeBose as Anita, David Alvarez as Bernardo, Mike Feist as Riff, Josh Riviera as Gino, and we've certainly got a lot more cast that is just too long to mention. The plot of West Side Story includes an incentive around a certain timepiece in history where two rival gangs, the Jets and the Sharks, are at one another's throats. They want the majority of territory and they are going to go out in an all-out war in battle but this movie also explores love and how our main character Tony kind of gets mixed up in both of those worlds. So what's my honest opinion of West Side Story 2021? Well for most part I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I thought it was such a refreshing musical that I felt as differed from a lot of other musicals I've seen in the past. Now again, I've never seen the original, so I appreciate this isn't exactly a brand new adaption into the musical villain genre, but again, as a first time viewer, I definitely felt like it added something different than other musicals have done before. And then this could all come down to Steven Spielberg creating this adaption for the first time ever producing a musical, but also helps with the hand of the cinematography, the score, the screenplay by Tony Kushner. I generally thought that this movie was just such uniqueness to look at. The cinematography by Juanes Kamensky was beautiful. You really kind of felt like you were in this time period setting and you felt like, oh, right, okay, well, there's two, these two rival gangs. There's a lot of racism going on here. There's certainly a lot of friction between the two and you know that at some point there's going to be a big on collision course and that is what we get. Yeah, that was really, for me, very exciting. I also loved and I also admired the fact that this was maybe just maybe something that I pointed out, but the opening act opens up from this kind of like trap door where the jets come out of. And when the jets come out of this trap door, we find that they kind of open up in this big opening number where maybe about 10 to 15 words are said, if that, which is just Incredible. It is just crazy to see that very little of words were used, but the music itself and the choreography. Firstly, I've just got to praise the choreography as well. What a fantastic job and just sublime choreography was on presence in this movie. There's so many casting characters, as I mentioned before, I can't mention them all, but the quick movements, just the perfection that was grounded throughout and all of our cast and crew how that they, they all learned that choreography and then put that together it literally looked as if it was a flawless performance in terms of they just kind of mastered it straight away i'm pretty sure it took them hours days weeks even to master it and kind of just something to behold yourself because it's masterfully done and executed throughout but with the opening number that it opens up with all men and the Jets, of course, you know, performing this kind of number. But then in kind of the next number, it opens up then with all women of the 
Sharks and all the Puerto Ricans that are based in, of course, the West Side Story. I love the contrast between the two. I felt like that was very well done. And again, I don't know if this movie is completely faithful to the original movie or more to the original book. The chemistry between our main two leads, Ansel Esgort as Tony and Rachel Zegler as Maria, you could buy in to that chemistry. You could just really feel like this love story was starting to come together and the love story was then developing throughout our entire three act structure and by the point when it gets to the end with the love story, you were bought into it. There was a lot of times I was screaming at the screen but like, Tony, what are you doing? I find myself invested in all these characters. If I've got to pick any negatives, because there is a couple I have got to highlight here. Again, going into this as a first time, I felt at odd little points the movie could have maybe been trimmed five, ten minutes. But there was an odd little period of time where it slowed down a little bit and I kind of felt that. I would have loved to have seen with this big battle that they have towards the end of the second act going into the third act. I love the battle. I love the stakes that was at hand. You felt like you were there in the stakes and watching this battle go down. I just wish that had lasted a little bit longer. I would have personally liked to have seen more of a fight. Whether you're a first time person and you're wondering, okay, well, is this actually worth my time going checking out? I would say yes. And I can actually find myself listening to a couple of these songs on repeat. Not every song, but certainly quite a few of them. So my overall rating for West Side Story is... So if you've enjoyed this review, please smash that thumbs up button and also press that red subscribe button so I can see you again next time. But until that next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.